Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So last night we finally got the release dates for the 60th anniversary specials revealed. And oh man, am I not happy about it. So the first of the specials, the Star Beast, won't actually be airing until the 25th of November. That's two whole days after the actual anniversary on the 23rd. I really don't like how we have to wait until after the 60th itself to watch the first of a few specials that are supposed to celebrate it. There were rumours going around recently that the Star Beast will be airing on the 11th of November with the other two specials then airing on the 18th and 25th respectively. I would have preferred it if they'd have gone with that as the first two specials would then feel like they were building up to the special day. They might have gone with a start on the 25th because maybe they wanted us to not have too long a break between the final special, The Giggle, and Shooting Out to first episode, which will be airing presumably around Christmas time. But I'd rather wait a bit longer for that potential Christmas special than wait a bit longer for the 60th specials. There is precedence for anniversary specials to air after the actual anniversary of course, the 20th anniversary special, The Five Doctors, aired two days later as well. Well, for us Brits anyway. American fans got to watch it on the day of the 23rd. And let's not forget that the 10th anniversary special, The Three Doctors, actually aired almost a year before the actual anniversary from the 30th of December 1972 to the 20th of January 1973. I know it's rather silly to get annoyed about something like a release date, it just feels like Russell and the BBC have missed a huge opportunity. But I'm sure it won't spoil my enjoyment of the specials themselves. They also released some posters for all three of the 60th anniversary specials, and I really do love the look of them, especially the one for the giggle. In other news, we also got some Series 14 writers announced. Here's the official press release all about it. The new series of Doctor Who will feature an episode co-written by writing duo Kate Heron and Bryony Redman which will air once Shuti Gatwa takes control of the TARDIS as the 15th Doctor. Both writers have made their mark as creatives, Kate as the executive producer and director of the entirety of Series 1 of the popular Marvel Studios series Loki, as well as directing on the critically acclaimed series Sex Education. Bryony is an actor, comedian and BAFTA Rowcliffe winning writer whose work includes the Welsh crime comedy Pont Breck with Damien Evans, and the award-winning short film Forget Me Not, which screens across film festivals internationally. The pair have collaborated on a range of work together, including their comic The Stalkin' as well as TV and film projects, including the sci-fi Miss Universe and the acclaimed short film Smear. Now they have teamed up once more to take viewers on an unforgettable adventure in a new series of Doctor Who. Kate Heron said, Clearly I can't get enough of time travel, it is an absolute honour to write for Russell and Shooty, we had so much fun and I can't wait for you all to see it. Bryony Redman said, As a big fan of Doctor Who and Russell T Davis, it's been a dream to write on this show. Russell T Davis, Doctor Who showrunner said, This is when I absolutely love my job. Working with the stellar talents of Kate and Bryony makes my whole world bigger and brighter, and a lot more fun. I was a huge fan of Loki and reached out to Kate to say so, she then introduced me to Bryony and it was all systems go. They've written a wonderful script which created unique challenges for cast and crew alike. The end result is gorgeous and thrilling and scary and not like any other episode of Doctor Who. It's been confirmed by Kate Heron herself on her Instagram that the episodes they've written together is episode 6 of series 14. That's the one that's set in the Regency era and has Jonathan Groff of Hamilton fame in it. I'm looking forward to watching the episode and seeing what Heron and Redman come up with for it. I'm not familiar with Bryony Redman's previous work, but I loved Kate Heron's work on Loki and Sex Education. 
And it was also recently announced that production on Series 15 has now begun. That's right, we haven't even seen the 60th specials or Series 14 yet, and they're already starting production on a series that probably won't even air until 2025. I think they're doing this because Shooter Gatwa is wanting to return to the stage for a bit soon, as that's where his career began. So they're probably going to get his first two series in the can, so that we won't then have another really long wait between series. Which is absolutely fine by me, as it got a bit annoying having to wait so long for each series during the Chris Chibnall era, although I understood the reasons behind that. I don't think it means that Shooty is only doing two series though, they're just trying to fit Finns around his schedule basically. But anyway, so there's my thoughts on all of this latest RTD2 era related news. But what did you think? What are your opinions on the release dates for the 60th anniversary specials? What do you make of Kate Heron and Bryony Redman writing for series 14? And what's your thoughts on series 15 starting production? Please let me know in the comments section below. And if you're wondering about my thoughts on the latest animation related news, I'll do a separate video all about that, don't you worry. Anyway, so thanks for watching, I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to press that subscribe button below, as well as press the bell icon at the side of it, so that you'll stay notified of when all my new videos come out. This channel currently has 1,459 subscribers as of the time of writing and recording this video. But if we can get to 2,500 by the end of this year, then I will do another Q&A where you can ask me whatever questions you want. Just keep them polite, please. Also, please rate and comment below your thoughts on all of this. And feel free to donate to my Ko-fi page, link in the description, or send me a YouTube super thanks below if you want to, of course. And I shall see you all in another video. So, until next time, bye-bye!